Spending your time with a sinner like me can only be to your detriment. It would be more appropriate for you to seek out a proper hero. I will always be your knight, Lady Vale. Even in this other world. If I had a nickel for every time a grand hero battle lands, Cavalier was just straight up better than our old five-star Duso, I'd have two nickels. Not really a huge bar, but it makes me sad as the owner of six Duso's. Now, Mavier would join Gerald in basically being a better free-to-play version of the Duso slow but tanky Great Knight archetype. This member of the Four Hounds is actually a Royal Knight, but Mavier doesn't have any tricky stats to abuse this time. For stats, he has 42 HP, 44 attack, 18 speed, 46 defense, and 35 res. When I saw Mavier's stats, I audibly gasped because, wow, those are some min-max stats. Besides two year one army units, Mavier has less speed than all other free-to-play armors at base, and only the recent Validar is slower among all free-to-play units released since launch. It's not necessarily best to have no speed, but if you just want a pure beefy tank, then you want those points in other places. Out of the gate, Mavier has the highest defense stat among all Cavaliers, and to cement his first place, he has a defense super boon as well. He doesn't have the highest HP attack or res, but all of these are fine to start with. Generally, the Lance Cavaliers famously love to dump res, so 35 base res is pretty high all things considered. With 18 base speed, Mavier will make build decisions pretty easy. I would not try to invest in speed, but if you want to, then I wish you the best of luck. Along with some fun tank stats, Mavier has a unique weapon, the Penitent Lance. 16 Might grants another plus 3 defense. At start of turn, if Mavier has more than 25% HP, grants the Hexblade and no panic statuses to Mavier and allies within 3 spaces. If Mavier is above 25% HP at the start of combat, he makes a free fall up attack and inflicts penalty on the foe's attack and defense stats equal to the number of active status effects on Mavier times 2 with a base of minus 6. If Mavier has 3 active statuses, he inflicts the max minus 12 attack and defense on the foe. Last, if Mavier has 3 active statuses, then reduce damage from the foe's first attacks with an S by X% percent during combat. If the foe can make a follow-up attack, X is 80% DR, otherwise X is 40% damage reduction. If I had a nickel for every time a Fire Emblem game had a big bad group of 4 with Flame Lance wooden Cavaliers, I'd have another 2 nickels. In Engage, Mavier often is seen with a Flame Lance, and while Penitent Lance obviously does not look like that fiery spear, the Hexblade Adaptive Damage status feels like a reference. The other Flame Lance Wooder I was talking about is Patrine, one of the four riders from Path of Radiance. Her Flame Lance acts like the main game counterpart by actually targeting Rez. While Faithful, Adaptive Damage is obviously better, and Mavier actually shares his ability with anyone nearby. More Hexblade support does raise the value of Mystic Boost, and No Panic is a fine stats to have as well. For actual combat, Mavier has the Duso basics of a Free Fall Attack and Attack and Defense Deboss. You can increase the Deboss by having active statuses, which Mavier already gives himself two of. However, you actually will want to find a third status, because this would then give Mavier tons of percent DR for first attacks, including Brave Hits. Assuming he gets double, his gets 80% DR, if not, it's 40%. Unfortunately, Mavier doesn't get DR for fall attacks like the tier 4 wary fighter skills, but that's okay. If you aren't familiar, Mavier is loyal to Vale, and is kinda obvious he synergizes with Mythic Vale and Fey. Vale gives attacker his field boss, which no panic can protect. Vale can also give two stats effects, which will just so happen to fully proc Penitent Lance. Her C skill also gives percent DR with scale, so just more defensive tools for Mavier. In exchange, Vale can use Hexploit if she faces other high res units. She has some pretty solid burst. Gotta appreciate the little synergistic combo. If you want to merge Mavier, you're not going to be missing out on any crazy skills. For the rest of his base kit, Mavier has Ignis for his high defense, and Rouse Attack and Defense 3 for solo self buffing. It's usable since Penitent Lance has a 3 space buffing range, but still a little restrictive unless you can upgrade. Game plan is fairly obvious, more attack and defense, defense scaling special, and a weapon with attack and defense debuffs, percent DR, and a free fall attack. Penitent Lance also gives team-wide Hexblade adaptive damage, and no panic if you got field boss. Mavier is not doing anything super fancy, but we got some fun perks that make him unique. If you want to merge Mavier up, he gains plus 1 HP, attack and res for the neutral nature. If you want to go all in on defense, grab that fun super boom. I could also see a res boon also being an option for certain builds. 
For some free-to-play comparisons, there are tons of Heroic Grail and Demon Lance Cavaliers. The main lower speed options are guys like Gerald, Conrad, maybe Berku. You can see that when you actually dump speed, you do just get better stats everywhere else, no surprises. While Gerald isn't blazing fast by any means, having that 9 extra speed can help against really slow units, such as Mavier. Gerald might be able to push through Fall of Denial effects, whereas Mavier, I kinda just assume he's gonna be attacking once. It never hurts to have the free follow-up though, you gotta keep others in check from a basic double. If you want Debos and Panic, Gerald's Breaker Lance has those for support. Meanwhile, Conrad's Mass Lance actually has built-in Dragon Wall and he gains a bonus to all stats. He's still the best res tank, but his attack is a little low. For the rest of the free-to-play units, I just picked a couple higher defense options going up these speed tiers. There are way more units out there. If you want to stack HP, Mavier is on the lower side, maybe this is something to consider. His decent base res will be pretty high for this class type, and you can work with that. At the very bottom, I could have listed do so, but I don't want to get more depressed, so I picked the most recent Great Knight 5 star. Stat wise, Mavier is basically as min maxed as Mycin, so yeah, very unique. Usually, when I say a free to play unit is min maxed for lower speed, it's just to differentiate them from that really awkward high 20, low 30 speed group. When you are sub 20 speed, that is definitely a standout trait if you're going to go for the pure tank route. For general playstyle, Mavier makes things pretty simple. No speed, but he has a free fall to double foes who do not stop him. He gives himself and allies Hexblade and no panic. Pure attack and defense and res stacking with attack and defense demos on the foe. The hardest part for budget builds is getting a third status for the 80 or 40% damage reduction. I checked our list of skills like usual, but I'm pretty sure there is no budget way to get a self-sufficient status. To be at full tanking potential, you're going to want to have another ally with some kind of status from Mavier. Again, Fail is a great partner. For builds, you can keep Rouse attack and defense, but you could also run things like Divots and Link. Feel free to add other buffing skills like tactics, hones, fortifies, etc. So we can actually make use of that no panic effect. For A skills, attack and defense catch 3 is on a couple ground units, or you could use closed defense. Brazen Stance 2 is fine, but if you got that Winter Mirror Bellis Ephemera, you can also get Brazen Stance 3 for guard. In the B slot, since Mavier doesn't have anything, you can slot in the basic guard 3, or maybe Doe Close. For other options, attack smoke is fine, or you can try a squad A seal for the bonus HP. Mystic Boost for healing, Heavy Blade for cooldown, maybe swap to Bonfire or a 2 cooldown damage special instead. Perhaps you could go a defensive special, Miracle, or Noontime and Soul. Considering Mavier has decent attack and Hexblade, it is a shame to give up on doubling. If you really want, you can stack follow-up effects. This is generally not done nowadays because Defense in the Fallup neutralizes all follow-up skills. However, as an example, the new Wyvern Rift only has one follow-up denial, and then it's speed rule changing for follow-ups. Penitent Lance can cancel out the follow-up denial, and it doesn't matter if Mavier is super slow. If you have quick repose, Mavier can double the Wyvern Rift user like Rosado. Stacking follow-ups is kind of a dead tactic due to no follow-up destroying the whole balance of that. However, you can still punish those who don't have defense in no follow-up in their build. For premium skills, the easiest way to get a third status is Alarm for Kanto 1. If you want to focus on just physical bulk, Summer Ephraim should be coming on the third big seasonal banner that's been going on for the anniversary. Ephraim has Alarm Attack and Defense, which directly upgrades from Rouse, and you can now grab Attack and Defense Clash 4 in full. For Ephemera holders, last year's Summer Freyr is the only way to get Defense and Res Catch 4. He also has Low Attack and Defense 3. Sadly, without a free-to-play Divots and Res Catch 3 unit, you can't get both skills in full, but once we do get one, that is basically the do-so build. It's also not easy to get, but Seal Attack 4 can work to actually do something in combat with potential for guard. For other combative skills, you can run Insight for that third status, and Solos are nice stat-boosting options. You could run the Tier 4 boost skills, Attack Smoke 4 would be pretty good, and Divots and Res Menace works for defensive stats and Mavier's Hexblade. Mystic Boost 4 has attack devils and lots of sustained healing. It's not on here, but you could run flow skills like Flow Near Trace. Alfred isn't super fast, but he does this with his Arcane Cheong for the free follow up. For percent DR skills, Gambit is great, even if the first hit already has 80% DR. Mavier doesn't have anything for follow up attacks. This is where the Deflex Sacred skills can also be used. Maybe you initiate and you only hit one time. Mavier would have Deflect to tank the foe's next attacks. Just a warning, Deflect Melee doesn't stop dragons or beast. If you want to emulate some of that Royal Knight staff support, Mavier could go full tank plus support, add a Rally plus Ruse combo to utilize no panic, and stack as much flat res to try and make Ploy 4 skills work. Ploy 4 adds exposure, and something like Divs from Res Ploy again benefits Hexblade's adaptive damage. 
Honestly, it's a pretty good spicy setup for an AoE special user. If you got Lumera, you could run Attack and Speed Roost 4 with Divots and Res Ploy 3. If Winter Edelgard were to finally pass that first round of A Hero Rises, you could grab Divots and Res Ploy from her and also attack in Divots Prime 4. Mavir will need help with status effects, but he does give himself two. Unfortunately, if you do want to run Ploy 4, I do think you have to run Forge Stevenson Res or at least Phantom Res with Res Boons, Merges, Dragon Flowers, the usual. 35 base Res isn't bad, but obviously we got a lot of 40 plus Res tanks and whatnot. For another debuffing method, you could try Snag 4. I do wonder if we'll get Link 4 B skills at some point. For some general issues, Mavir lacks cooldown, and I wouldn't bank on him to double, so things like No Quarter or Aether for healing may be kind of rough. Red type quit on support or rally spectrum would be really good to have. For a fun special, maybe try an AoE. Adaptive damage does affect AoE specials, so if Mavir is brawling it out in a couple fights, you could have a surprise nuke for later. Now, is Mavir worth using? Should you 5 star him? Stat wise, the guy is hilarious. High Stevens cav in the game and actually min max for low speed. No 25 ish speed, maybe we can invest in it type deal here. For his kit, Mavir's unique Penitent Lance comes with easy 3 space range for Hexblade and no panic support. For combat, you get a Tekken Defense debuff, a free fall up attack, and high percent DR potentially. For the damage reduction part, you're going to need 3 active status effects, and Mavir only gives himself 2. You will either need to commit to a skill like Alarm for a self sufficient source, or you're going to pair Mavir with an ally who can give another status. For general content, since he has a free follow-up baked into his weapon, Mavir should be fine. He'll punish units who do not bring follow-up denial or defense enough follow-up, but I would not expect him to be a player phase monster or anything, and that's a bit of a shame when you got Hexblade. If you want to be a defensive tank like with distant countering stuff, then that's a bit of a slight waste of the cavalry movement, and Cavs have the lowest starting base stat totals. Mavir can be pretty sturdy, but when newly released 5-star limited time tanks are having issues enemy phasing, then, you know, you're gonna have to keep expectations in check for a free reward unit. At the very least, Mavir can dip into that Royal Knight support aspect with things like Ploy or Ruse, maybe you can run Smite with Snag if you want to roleplay having that warp staff. For a playstyle I didn't mention, you could build Tanky and just have Mavir try to survive initiations, maybe you can set up Defense Run Smoke Pathfinder or even the risky Double Fury to set up Wings of Mercy. Just being able to survive one round is enough to cause mischief, and doing that with 3 movement has its uses. Overall, Mavir continues the streak of just really interesting Grand Hero battle units. It's been a while since he last free to play Lance Cavalier, so if you want a modern tanky option, then here you go. I don't know how they're gonna top this one. That'll be it for this month's Grand Hero battle unit. Another of the 4 hounds down, who's gonna be next? Gris or Marnie. My money's on the not armored unit. Let me know what you guys think of Mafia and go beat his Grand Hero Battle map. Good thing there's no Miasma this time. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.